Hello students, welcome to Shia Academics. In this class 6, 7th chapter, fractions la exercise number 7.5. Now, we have exercise number 7.5. Mixed fractions. And you have to do this. You marked some fractions on the number line earlier. Did you notice that the lengths of all the blue lines were less than 1? And the lengths of all the black lines were more than 1. Write down all the fractions you marked on the number line earlier. Now let us classify these into groups. Now number 7.4, we mark the fractions on a number line. So that is the blue lines are measurement less than 1. And black lines are more than 1 measurement. That is the fraction unit. Now we have a group. So I wrote the measurement which is less than 1. So one is less than 1 measurement. And one is less than 1 measurement. So more than 1 is less than 1. If you look at less than 1, the fractions of less than 1, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. If you look at more than 1, the fractions of less than 1, the numerator is greater than the denominator. So, if you have 1 mark in your questions, so note this point. When the number of numerator is greater than the denominator, that means it has one whole unit. So, minimum it has one unit, that is why it is based on the calculations. If you have a numerator lesser than the denominator, it is lesser than 1. Now, 3 upon 2 and 5 upon 2 are the same. Numerator 3 is the same. So, numerator 2 is the same. Then, 1, 1, 1, 3 is the same. And denominator we can't split it. That is the same. 2, 2, 2 you have to write. So, when we add all these 1 by 2, 1 by 2, we get 3 by 2. Now, we get 1 plus 1 by 2. Now, we get 1 plus 1 by 2. Now, we get 1 plus 1 by 2. We get 1 plus 1 by 2. We get 1 plus 1 by 2. Now, we get 1 whole unit. So, that is the same. Then, we get 1 plus 1 by 2. We are adding it. So, that is what we have mentioned. Same way, we have split it into 5. So, 5 is 1 quarter. Now, when you combine these two half, it becomes 1 unit. That is why, in the half combined, it becomes 1 unit. Then, 1 plus 1 is 2. That is what we have mentioned. And remaining the half, that is what we have mentioned. First sum, how many whole units are there in 7 upon 2? Now, in 7 upon 2, how many whole numbers are there in 7 upon 2? So, we can answer two methods. Now, we have split the number of 7 upon 2. Now, we have 7 numbers. Now, when we combine two half, that becomes 1. And in the two half, it becomes 1. And again, the two half, 1. And in the half, we can't count with this. Now, we can see 3 plus 1 upon 2. So, we can see 3 whole number plus 1 half. Okay, and one more way number division we can do like this. Now, 2 and 7. 2, 3s are 6. Balance 1. Decimal 0. 2, 5s are 10. So, we get the answer. Here are the 3 hand up fractions. Here are the 3.5 decimal. So, this way also we can add up. But, here we can do this method. So, we follow the same method here. Now, second sum. How many whole units are there in 4 upon 3 and 7 upon 3? So, now we have to identify the whole units in these two fractions. Now, we have to split 4 upon 3 and split 4 times. That means, we have to split 7 upon 3 and split 7 times. So, now we have to find the whole number. First, 4 upon 3. First, when we add this 3 number, we have to answer the answer. We have to answer the answer. Then, we have to answer the answer. Then, we have to answer the answer. Plus 1 upon 3. If we get 3 and 3 cancel, we get the number 1. So, 3 and 1 are 3. Now, in the first 4 upon 3, we have 1 plus 1 upon 3. So, 1 whole number and 1 fraction number. Same way, when you add this 3 and this 3. So, here is a whole number and here is a whole number. That means 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1 upon 3. So, here is a whole number and here is a whole number. And one fraction. इंगे वंदे इन नंबर नंबर इप्रिय प्रसन्न पन्ना लां इन्ना मिक्सिव फ्रैक्शन डर नाला one one upon three and इधर वंद पाते ना two one upon three so when we multiply two threes are six six plus one it becomes seven upon three नमक पाते ना इन्द नंबर कर चल चेंगे and इंगे पाते ना three ones are three three plus one four अपो four upon three नमक के इन्द नंबर इंगे कर चल कर okay इंगला now, in 7.5, the second segment, figure out the number of whole units in each of the following fractions. So, again, number, this is the whole unit. And here, I use the addition method. 
And now, I have all the fractions in the addition form. So, 8 upon 3 is 1, 1 is split. 1 upon 3 is split into 8 units. And now, we can see how many whole numbers are there. So, if you add this 3, it becomes one whole unit. Again, in the 3 add, one whole unit. Then, 1 plus 1 is 2. So, remaining is 2 fractions. And that, I will write it as 2 upon 3. No, it's not. 2 and 2 third அப்படி நம்பையிடலாம் and next இங்கே பார்த்திக்கு என்ன if I add this 5 I get one whole number again this 5 one whole number and remaining இது ஒரு fraction இது வந்து நானு 2 plus 1 upon 5 and இங்கு வந்து பார்த்திக்கு என்ன again இந்த 4 add பண்ணா I get 1 and remainder இந்த 4 add பண்ணா I get 1 அப்போ 1 plus 1 2 whole number கடுக்கு and ஒரு fraction so 1 by 4. Either 2, 2 and quarter. So we will say 2 and quarter. This is the number. Now if you have a doubt, if you have 3 add to add one whole number, if you have 5 add to add one whole number, if you have 4 add to add one whole number. So if you have a doubt, if you have a doubt, if you have a doubt, if you add this 3, 1, Okay, so 3 is 1, 3 is 1, 3 is 1, and here is 3 is 3 is 1. So 3 by 3 is 1, I get the number 1. Then I get the whole number. Here is 5 denominator, then I get 5 is 1. So that I added 5 fraction. So 5 upon 5, if I cancel, I get 1. Same way, here is 4. So I should make 4 number in both numerator and denominator. So what I do is 4 upon 4, I get 1. Now what concept is, if you have 1 whole number 3, if you have 1 whole number 5, if you have 1 whole number 4, so that if you have 1 whole number, you have to make both numerator and denominator the same number, then you cancel 1. Suppose we have like, 7 upon 6 குடுத்தாங்க நான் நமக்கு வந்து 6 units of numerator count பண்ணாதான் நமக்கு 6 by 6 வரோ அப்பன் நம்க cancel பண்ணா we get one whole number இப்பு next என்ன குடுத்திருக்காங்க நான் இங்கே வந்து ஒரு fractions குடுத்திருக்காங்க and இங்கே இது வந்து நம்ப mixed formல பண்ணோனா we get this answer okay so இப்பு வாத்து என்ன 3 into இங்கே red number வந்து we have to multiply so 3 2s are 6 and the 6 order we have to add this one அப்போ 6 plus 2 8 8 upon 3 are marido. If in the mixture fraction on the we can refer as 2 and 2 thirds. 2 and 3 on the we call it as 2 thirds. Okay, now. If in the second question, can all fractions greater than 1 be written as such mixed numbers? Abhi kaitra kanga kandipa. So a fraction which is greater than 1 kandipa on the mixture fraction la yedalam. So the answer is S for this. If in the third sum, Write the following fractions as mixed fraction. இப்போ இங்கு குட்திருக்கு fraction தது நாம் mixed formula பிரசன் பண்ணும். இப்போ வந்து பாத்தின் 9 by 2 இருக்கு. That is 9 upon 2. First we have to divide it. So already addition form சொல்லி குட்திருக்கேன். And இப்போ நம்ப இது வந்து எல்லாமே வந்து division formula பண்ணலா. Last வந்து ஒரு சம் நாம்களுக்கு addition method சொல்லித்தரேன். And இப்போ வந்து பார்த்திக்க balance 1. So, mixer fraction பண்ணம் போது நம்பக்கு ஒரு step தான் divisionல போடுனும். further number 0 வரவிக்கும் போடக்குடாது. Okay, இங்கலா. And, இப்போ நம்ப என்ன பண்ணலானா, mixer fractionல always வந்து denominator 2 இருக்கில்லையா, அது அப்படியே போட்டுக்குனும். And, this 1, இந்த 1 வந்து மேல் பந்துரும். So, it become numerator and this 4 will become the whole number. இப்போ 9 upon 2ல வந்து பார்த்திக்கின்ன so again, we divide this 9 with 5. 5 1s are 5, balance 4. And now, we will write the denominator in B sum. I write the denominator 5 here. And in the 4, we will write the numerator in the numerator. And this 1 becomes a whole number. Now, we have 1 whole number in 9 upon 5. Now, we have 1 whole number and a fraction 4 upon 5. Now, C, we have 21 upon 19. So, we should divide this 21 with 19. Panna. So, 19 ones are 19. Remaining 2. So, I'm denoted the 19 update photogram. And this 2 will come up. And this 1 will come down here. Okay. Now, this is for C. And this is for B. And next is the 47 by 9. Again, I divide this 47 by 9. 
இப்போ நைன் ஃபைவ் ஆஃப் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ரிமைனிங் டூ நான் நைன் அப்படியே கீழே எழுதிக்கிட்டேன் டினாமீட்டர் அண்ட் திஸ் ஃபைவ் வில் கம் ஹியர் அண்ட் த டூ வில் கோ அப் ஃபைவ் டூ நைன் ஓகே ஃபைவ் இன்டூ டூ அப்போன் நைன் இ பார்த்தீங்கன்னா டுவெல் அப்போன் லெவன் ஸோ ஹேவ் டு டிவைட் திஸ் டுவெல் வித் லெவன் இப்போ டுவெல்ல வந்து ஒன் டைம்ஸ் லெவன் வி ஹாவ் அண்ட் பேலன்ஸ் ஒன் As usual, I put the denominator 11 here down and uh, in one inge and one inge. So it has one whole number and one by 11. Now I have 19 upon 6. So I divide this 19 with 6. 6 3s are 18. Balance 1. Apo, as usual, I put the denominator 6 here. And again, path again, 3 will come here. And 1 will go up. 3 into 1 upon 6. So this is the mixed fraction of all these uh, fractions. And now we have to addition method. First, na A is the example. La. I have to put 1 upon 2 9 times. Now 9 times, I have to hold the denominator 2. So when I add 2, that becomes whole. Now 1 plus 1 2 are marked. 2 upon 2 are marked. When I cancel, I get the whole number 1. So on the basis, I have 2 to a count and I have one whole number. That is why when I add this 2 half, I get whole number. And the 2 half is one whole number. And again, 2 half is one whole number. But then I get 1 plus 1 plus 1. Then 4 whole number plus in the half. So the answer is 4 into 1 and half. So this way you have to do the answer. This is the addition method and this is the division method. So whichever way is easy for you, you can select the method and do the sums. Okay, now we are going to next segment. Changing a fraction into mixed number or a mixed number to fractions. That is the concept that I am telling you. But that is the first thing I am going to say. Now we are going to say 3 and 3 upon 4. That means 3 is 3, 3 is 1, 1 is 1. So, 3 whole number combines together, we get 3 here, plus 3 upon 4. Okay, you know? Then, one whole number is 1 upon 4, 4 is 1 by 4. Now, one whole number is a quarter, 4 quarters are split. Again, you can split it here, you can split it here. Now, 3 is 3 whole number. Now, this is a whole number, this is a whole number, this is a whole number. Plus, if you split it by 4, you can split it by 3 quarters. So, when you add all these together, 1 by 4, we get 15 upon 4 answer. And in our method, if you look at this, if you look at this, 1 by 4 is 4, then you look at this, 4 into 1 upon 4. If you look at this, we get the whole number 1 here. If you look at this, 4 into 1 upon 4. And if you look at this, 4 into 1 upon 4. And if you look at this, 4 into 1 upon 4, we get 1. And if you look at this, 1 whole unit is added. இங்கு நம்ப 3 and 4 ஐ கேண்சல் பண்ணுமிது அப்பு என்ன பண்ணானா நம்ப 3 into 1, 3 and 3 upon 4 நம்ப அப்படியை ஏடிக்கிலோ இப்பு பார்த்திக்கு என்ன 3 whole number plus 3 upon 4 நமக்கு வருது இது வந்து mixed fractionல் இருக்கு 3 into 3 upon 4 mixed fractionல் இருக்கு இப்பு நம்ப இந்த mixed fractionல் fraction மாத்தினோனா 4 into 3 12 12 plus 3, 15. அப்போ, 15 upon 4 is the fraction unit for this mixed number. அதுதான் நமக்கு இங்கு answer கடிச்சிருக்கு. இது எதுக்கு சொல்கிறேன் நான் இதை பேச்ச்சம் நம்ம் நம்ம் நேக்சம் பண்ணப் போரும். அதுக்காத இந்த concept நான் உங்களுக்கு explain பண்ணிரேன். இப்பு 7.5ல, third segment, write the following mixed numbers as fractions. இப்பு இந்த mixed number வந்து fraction convert பண்ணும். எப்படி பண்ணது பார்க்கலாம். So, when you convert this mixed number to fraction, you have to multiply first 4 into 3. That is 12. In the 12 order, you have to add this 1. 12 plus 1, 13. Apo 13 upon 4 is the fraction for this mixed number. And again, 3 into 7, 21. 21 plus 2, 23. 23 upon 3 is the answer. Again, 9 nines are 81. 81 plus 4, 85. 85 upon 9. Again, here are 3, 6, 18. 18 plus 1, 19. 19 by 6. 11, 2 is 22. 22 plus 3, 25 upon 11 is the answer. Here are 10 into 3, 30. 30 plus 9, 39 by 10 is the answer. இப்பு நம்ப 1.5 access full முடிச்சிட்டும் I hope இந்த கோசல் நான் புருந்துக்கு நனைக்கிறேன் இந்த விடைப் பிருந்துக்கு சேர் பண்ணங்க and மறக்கம் மன்னும் சான் சர்ச்கைப் பண்ணங்க thanks for watching thank you